Hello everyone and welcome back. So and now I am going to share with you my water base marker collection. Um, it's not very big because I don't use them that much. We have the set of color brush pins, which look like this. They do have a color name. Sorry about my finger in the way. They have a color name and a color number on these. They do have a brush tip. And they have a fine point tip. These are really good for using like in journals and stuff like that. Very good wide range selection of colors. Um, try to put these back on the shelf as I'm filming. The next set we have are the Ohuhu. These do not have color names or color numbers on them. Well, they have color numbers, but not color names. And honestly, I like this set more than I do the color ones. They have the same brush tip. And they have a fine point. And let's see, here are their colors that comes with them. So I would recommend this set because they do have a color chart. The other ones didn't come with one. So that is those. The next set we have are the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. If you want a good set, really good set of water based brush markers, then I would recommend these because these are activated with water and you can use a colorless blender pen to blend them out with and they're really really good too. So I do recommend these. And the last set that I have is the Crayola Super Tips. I do tend to reach for these when I'm working on something I just want to color with regular markers with. And here is what you get with the 100 set of Crayola Super Tips. Love these. So, thank you for stopping by to watch my water-based marker collection and I'll see you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I have my alcohol marker video collection and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. The first set I have here are the Art Pop markers, which is this set. And here are the colors that they come with. I think it's a 36 set. And... They just come with like a color number on them and a color number at the top. They don't have color names or anything like that. So the tips look like these. This is why I like them because they have really fine tips. Really, really nice. And they have a broad brush, a uh, broad chisel tip. So that is the Art Pop. And then I have the Biannual. Um, skin tone marker set. Really nice point. Chisel tip. And on the end, 
they do have stickers with color names and color numbers on them, which I wish all of the marker sets would do this. So, okay. So the next set we have are the Aegea markers, which here are the color colors that come with it. And you get a wide selection. And I really like this set. I've used these the most in all of my books and stuff like that. And so far they haven't seemed to do like yellowing and stuff like that because they haven't done it on the cardstock. And that's normally what I use. So I'm really grateful for that. Here are the Aegea markers. And they come with a nice little coloring page. I did try to start coloring it. They come with a color swatch chart and a color names and numbers on the swatch chart. And these have another really nice fine tip on them. They're not brush tip. They are fine point. And they have a really good chisel tip on them. And they lay down really nicely too. They're super juicy. So I would recommend this for a budget set of markers. So let's see. Um, the next set we have is the Becues. Let me get the color chart. This set is smaller than the Aegea. Really like the color selection though. These are a fine point tip as well. You do get 120 colors. And this is the color assortment that you get. They have a color name and number on them. Really wonderful fine point. And a really nice chisel tip. And they do come with a lot of ink in them too. So that's why I do recommend these. They also come with a colorless blender. This set, however, did not come with a color chart. Okay. So, then let me get this bucket and we will get through the OVD. So. Okay, so my favorite set of all of my markers are the Ohuhus. And I really like this set. They do have color name and color number on them. They do have a wonderful, nice brush to use on them. And a really good chisel tip on them. So, and these come with refills, so that's why I recommend them. And I did go and make some little swatch cards with them. So that I can keep all of the colors right here with me. And I also have a few of the Prisma Premier Alcohol Markers. Which are getting harder to find day by day. They come with a nice, very nice fine point. These do not bleed as much as the other ones do through the lines. And they do not yellow the pages. So here is the chisel tip on the Prisma Premieres. I do have one Prisma Premier brush pen. And that's what their brushes look like. And here is what their chisel tips look like. So if you want a really, really good set, I would recommend the Prisma markers. I love these, and I wish I could find a full set of them. So, yeah. As I said, I don't have very many of those, so yeah. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.